This is News 4 Nashville. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, the chef at a Nashville honky tonk will be remembered forever. Just hours ago, Nudie's honky tonk unveiled a special chef's coat for Tim Fields, who was shot and killed this summer. News Force Cameron Taylor joins us live where that ceremony wrapped up, and this man has touched a lot of lives, Cameron. He really did, and Marius, bear with me. It's a little loud because, well, we're in a honky tonk, but this gesture meant so much to the family. The owner even considered Tim a son, and now his chef's coat will forever be on this wall. At Nudie's Honky Tonk, you'll see costumes on the walls, worn by stars like Elvis Presley and designed by Nudie Cohn. Now, in honor of Tim Fields, there's a new addition, a special chef's coat for Tim Fields, who worked at the Honky Tonk. His mom and the owner sharing a special moment after the unveiling. I'm so proud. I'm proud of him. Even through death, he's touched. He's still working. He's still working. Back in June, Tim was shot and killed outside Bar Louie in the Gulch. Many say he was known for his passion in the kitchen and his kindness toward others. As long as we're here, Tim will be celebrated and remembered here on the menu and on our walls and by all the staff who worked with him and loved him. Nudie's Honky Tonk owner Bill Miller says Tim would always have ideas for the menu. The last one he shared, deep fried Oreos. They're now on the menu as a tribute to Tim. <laughs> Nudie's granddaughter helped decorate the chef's coat for Tim. She used the same rhinestone setter her grandfather used for the suit Elvis wore in 1957. I'm a mom and a grandmother and knowing that I had a part in this, just it, it just is very, it feels really good. Feels really good. For Tim's mom, she knows he would be smiling about his legacy living on. He would really be, he would think he was the man. <laughs> he would really think he was the man. I'm so proud of him. And back out here live, Tim's mom was given a chef's coat just like this. As for the suspect in this case, he turned himself in and has a court appearance in two weeks. And if you'd like to get caught up on this story, I have it posted on my Twitter account from previous coverage we've done about Tim's story. And it's also in the News 4 app. Tracy Marius, 